In this episode, we're going to cover one of the worst questions in sync, period, that you could ask a music bias. And now look at you. Hope all is well. I was just wondering. Bleh, bleh. Don't even fix your face to ask. But I know you hard-headed and you fit to try again. Hello there, just checking in to see. I done told you to stop asking that question. Don't even, come on, superstar, let's go before you don't even have no money to hear. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. What you say now? When you talk money, I can hear you. You ain't got money, that's a cold blood. When you talk money, I can hear you. Hey, hey, Bubble on deck. I'm your host, Tamara Bubble, a.k.a. the I Hear Money Coach, a.k.a. your favorite sank superstar, look, a.k.a. the don't ever ask this question again, coach, look, a.k.a. if you're trying to make money in sync, stop asking this coach today, <laughs> look, if I don't coach you, who will, okay, if I can't get you to this money, who can, now, can we talk about the fact that you here on a weekday, look, where you could be anywhere else in the world, you decided to, look, let me, let me come up in here and hear some money, let me, let me, let me see what you're talking about, welcome to the show, I want to thank you for joining us today, could you stick around to the end, look, stick around to the end, because there's gems, but in the meantime, and in between time, I need you to know it's subscribe time, if you're new to this podcast, couple things you need to do for me before I give the gems to you, yeah, now, number one, you could go ahead to little apple podcast spotify podcast pick your poison get it where you live leave that five star review like you know what to do and i know you're new here so you don't so listen up <laughs> yeah look do me favor come back to youtube because look i need you to hear money but see bubble could we do that now uh come back to youtube like share comment share this episode because it's fitting to be your favorite but if this one ain't your favorite do me a favor and share your favorite episode look to your profile and just tell the folks that's listening look tell the people that's lurking on your page if you're gonna sit around here and watch what i do at least learn something <laughs> could you do that anyway there's four goals on this podcast and we fitting to look skip right along through it so we could get to these questions you need to stop asking folk anyway goal number one is to save you money in your sink business i need you to have a sink business in order to save money in your business and if you don't have one if you don't know how to set one up if you don't know where to go and where to begin and you're just looking around like oh my god bubble i don't got a business help me out i need you to know there is a quick reference guide and it's called Start your sink biz now. Okay, when I talk to you about the sponsor, you're going to know where to go get it from. Now, goal number two is to make you more money in music licensing. I'd like to think that this episode is a make more money episode. Because look, if you can stop from losing money, you finna make some more. <laughs> yeah. Goal number three is to transform your mindset. This episode is partially mindset, but I think it's more so goal two than three. But look, you can get it how you live. You can reach all four of these goals in this episode. Because goal number four is to activate your superstar. Look, when you saving money in your business, when you making more money in your business, and when your mind is right, I'm telling you the money fit in the flow, and you finna say, oh, oh, oh my God, that's why she called us I hear money. Because when I reach these goals, I'm finna hit some money, and you finna see it too. Now, if you're trying to fast track your success, do me a favor, look, in this episode and in every episode in the future, you're gonna find a fast track to sync superstardom. Look in the comments for it. It's going to be a pinned comment up in this on YouTube. And this is why I tell you to come to YouTube anyway. Look, we're trying to get to the superstardom ASAP. Look, why they still on strike? Look, show me the money while they still on strike. <laughs> Can we do that? Okay, I need to introduce you to the sponsor so we could go ahead and do that. The Sync Superstar Academy. Shout out to you if you know what that is. Because I'm trying to tell you there's resources up in there. That's fitting to fast track your way to superstardom. Now, there is a challenge. Look, it's advanced. Look, if you're beginner in sync, look in the description to see where you need to go from the beginning. But if you're ready for the advance, if you're ready to transform your mindset and activate your superstar in 30 days or less, you need to run up on that 24-hour sync superstar activation challenge. It's self-paced, it's self-study, but it's still going to pump new content to you daily so you can get out here and superstar. Okay, visit SyncSuperstar.com to make that happen. Now, could we get to this disclaimer and get up in this episode? I just got to say real quickly, look, regardless of the gems that I bring to you, I just need you to know that it is for edutainment purposes only. This is a podcast filled up with little, the opinions that's floating around in my head. <laughs> can I tell you, when I think it may benefit you, I'm going to spit it on out my mouth. Look. 
if you just sit here and watch every single episode, you finna run up on superstardom. Or you definitely gonna be in a better spot than you was before you found this podcast. This, this, that, that's what I can disclaim. <laughs> but what I also can disclaim is that I'm not your lawyer. I'm not your CPA. And any advice and the gems and things that I give, look, this podcast is for entertainment purposes only. If you know that, let's go up in here and hear this man. Bubble on that. When you talk money, I hear you. I hear money. What is that? Okay, now, can we talk about this horrible question and then get up off it? Because, look, it's making my shoulders itch. I'm trying to tell you. I don't want you, look, after this episode, I don't want you to hear this question, see this question, smell this question, type this question. Don't do nothing else with this question when it comes to sync and music buyers. Could we do, could we make that promise? <laughs> Ew. Anyway, uh, I had to do this episode because, look, I'm out here, I'm seeing and hearing about these superstars. And I'm trying to tell you, these music buyers out here giggling and laughing, look. At, at at the at the audacity <laughs> it's gonna get you nowhere okay you ain't gonna hear no money with this question matter of fact okay i've been out here doing my little superstar thing up in sync for maybe about five years now a little bit rolling up on five years i think we passed five years now anyway in the five years of my sync career little, can we call it a successful career since i can superstar consistently now what i want to tell you is that in the midst of this career <laughs> look, even at the very beginning look even on day one of sync, I ain't never uttered this question to not one music buyer. Okay, so I'm look, I'm trying to tell you, you ain't gonna run out here in sync and find no artist. Look, you ain't gonna find no producer or no songwriter. They tell myself, look, let me tell you how I blew up in sync. I asked this question and they just started to give me placements. Can I tell you they lying? If you find somebody, look, put up put their name in the comments so I could go tell them to their face, use a lie. Okay, use a whole lie. Go sit down with your lying self. Anyway, we ain't gonna beat around the bush because look, I'm finna tell you what the question is and then give you the solution. There's two solutions this episode. So stick around to the end so I can give you look how to solve this problem. Now, the question that you don't never eat the other, look, never, ever, 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 don't you ever say it again. Is dear music buyer, dear music supervisor, what are you working on? That, don't utter them five, don't ask the question. No more. I just needed to say it once so you would know what the question is. Don't you ever say it again. Now, let me tell you why it's a problem. The reason why it's a problem is because you're interrupting somebody at work to ask them what they're working on. Imagine, look, you in the midst of your homework. Look, you're minding your business. Whether you're in college, high school, I don't know where you at in your career. I don't know how old you are watching this podcast. Look, if you at your day job, you grown, you got your job, you at work, and somebody come knock on you. What you working on? Imagine if your boss did it. Look, even if your boss do it and they pay you to do it. They don't, matter of fact, that's probably the one person that can interrupt you while you working to ask you what you working on and you won't get no attitude, okay? You won't look, you won't throw a rock in their face. I'm trying to tell you right now, you won't go step on their toe because you want the check to come in next week. So why would you go to the music buyers? Look, they're technically your boss if we talking who finna pay you a check. Why would you run up to a music buyer and say, look, I hope all is well. I just wanted to check in and see what you're working on. Okay, they're in the midst of their work. Can I tell you that's annoying? You know what that's like? Let's come up outside of music for a little bit. Could we talk about, look, you had a party, you networking. You just had a new event. You don't know these folks. <laughs> look, it's a, a crowd of people over there. They're giggling. <laughs> Everybody laughing, having fun. The joke is over. You missed that moment. You just stroll over there into the midst of that crowd and tell them, <laughs> what's so funny? That's what you're doing. You done missed the joke. You done missed the moment. And now you want to know what's so funny. So now by the time the joke teller, look, the person out there running, working that room and working that crowd, okay, by the time they catch you up to speed, you done messed up the joke. Ain't nobody going to re-laugh again. And you done threw off the pace of how that conversation was flowing. You done messed with the flow. You a vibe killer. I'm trying to tell you right now. I don't care. Because I know what you're saying. You're saying, well, Bubble, look, if I don't ask them what they're working on, how will I know? Look, that's not the point. Okay, because can I tell you, look, in the midst of their work, where do you come into play? Look, can I tell you, you ain't doing nothing but messing up their money. Okay, look, first of all, 
a good percentage, a good majority of them, if, especially if you run around in Hollywood asking this question, half of them on strike. So what, what are you doing? They ain't working on nothing right now because they on strike. So first of all, if they was working on something, you already getting on their nerves. But now they're wondering, is you trying to be funny? Because you know I'm not working on nothing and you running up in my inbox with this waste of a time email. Okay, look, I'm going to tell you right now. I got a book called From Sync to Superstar. And it talks about in that book about how you need to be helpful <laughs> to get placements from these music buyers. Your music needs to be helpful, but also you need to be helpful. And if you finna be approaching people, I'm trying to tell you now, what are you working on and helping nobody but you? Look, if you don't flick that little selfish question on out of here, get that question up out of this room. Who is knowing what somebody else is working on Help, how does that help the music buyer? Can you tell me that? Put it in the comments. Tell me, look, I'm helping the music buyer by asking them what they're working on because I don't think they know what they're working on. <laughs> you see how that don't make no sense? They know what they're working on. You don't know what they're working on. And you selfishly interrupting their day. Look, because now they got to stop working on what they're working on to look and see what they're working on that they think you might be able to help them with. Can I tell you, if you want to be helpful, you need to be, look, can we get to the solution? Get up off this episode. Wait, hold up. One, before we get to the solution, one more thing I got to say about this. Look, if they wanted you to know what they're working on, let me tell you something. Let me, let, let me give you a little inside tidbit. <laughs> this is for my superstars. Okay. The people that's not serious about sync, they probably already left this episode and it's okay because this one's for you. Now, if they wanted you to know what they was working on, they would have told you. I'm trying to tell you now. They know how to speak up. Look, these music buyers be talking to people. They be emailing people and they be talking to people. You know what they be doing? When they want you to know what they're working on, they're going to send you a brief. Okay, they're going to tell you, hey, looky here. This is what I'm working on. This look, I need you to know this is the specifics of it. And I'm going to tell you now, about 80% of the time when they send that brief, it got a deadline on. So now not only are they working on something, they're working under pressure. And when I tell you when they got pressure, look, the pressure is to find the song that they need for the project that they're working on. Look, quick, fast, and in a hurry. So now if they got an urgent brief and they have let you know, they let you know because they think that you can be helpful. Now, if you are not on that list, it's because they think you can't help them at this moment. Don't take offense to that. Get to being helpful. And I'm telling you finna get added to these lists. Look, if a brief is urgent, that means they don't have time for questions. They don't have time for small talk. They don't have time for chit chat. They got time for music that they need for that project. And they don't even, and honestly, they don't even have time to listen to thousands of songs to find it. That's why they only reach out to certain people that they know and trust will not waste their time. And I'm trying to tell you, if you're wasting somebody's time asking what they're working on, you're not helping okay now look i told you my shoulder itching let's get up in these solutions and get up off this episode solution number one <laughs> look if you want to know what they're working on and you don't know and you're trying to figure out a little bubble how i'm fitting to know what they're working on if i don't ask okay little knock knock asking it shall be given but can i tell you there's a way that you can know without interrupting their whole life look without interrupting their workflow solution number one is to figure it out <laughs> can i tell you i'll be out here Look, knowing what the music buyers is working on. Look, knowing what the music supervisors is working on and knowing when they need the music. Can I tell you, I be out here sending, look, if you read my book, you know what it's called. I be out here sending hot emails to these folks. Can I tell you? And I be knowing exactly when to email them. Can I tell you? Look, I'm out, look I done told you about that challenge. 24-hour sync superstar challenge. I'm going to teach you what I know. So you ain't got to sit out here and wonder, I wonder what they're working on. You know what? Let me just go ahead and interrupt their day and that. Don't do that. I told you don't ask them that question no more. Go figure out what they're working on and then address them, approach them accordingly. And you don't, look, don't even reach out to them once you know, once you figure this out, if you took the course, look, don't you be sitting out here using these resources to be annoying. Don't you be out here talking about, I know what you're working on. Now I want to know, do you need to look, look? I'm trying to tell you, approach is everything. And you finna not hear no money if you're talking like that. Don't get greasy out here when you learn a thing or two. Okay, because I'll be out here trying to teach you how to superstar and you don't want to know. And look, don't you get out here and learn these resources and learn what to do and how to move and shake out here and then get to talking greasy. Ew anyway because i got a whole entire look that 24 hour sync superstar activation challenge will teach you how to be resourceful in these streets that's why it's advanced look that's why it's look anybody out here teaching this anyway solution number two tell them what you're 
working on. And you know what that solution means. That solution simply means, look, why don't you go make some music? Why are you busy asking what somebody working on? What are you working on? How about I knock on your desk and ask you, how many songs are you working on? Could you go work on something so you have something to talk to them about? That's all you have to do. Tell them what you working on. When you send them your new music, if they need it, you'll know. Can I tell you? I get placements with both of these solutions. I'm trying to tell you this ain't lit. I'm not guessing at this sync game, okay? I'm trying to put you on the superstar. Okay, now, if you send them, the look, if you do solution number two and send them some new music and they need it, I'm trying to tell you they're going to reply back with what they need and what they want. And sometimes, depending on what you send them, if they know you may have what they actually need, there have been plenty of times where I will reach out with my music and they will reply back with a brief. Because uh, at the moment, they didn't need what I just knew, what I was working on. Now they want me to send them for music for what they're working on. You see how that works <laughs> without being annoying? I have never, ever, ever in my entire career asked one of them, what you working on? I just checking in to see what you working on. Stop saying that. Stop asking that. Anyway, from this for my superstars. Now, with solution number one. Go figure out what they work, you know. Can I tell you? I get placements equally. Look, I get placements from strangers because I know what they working on and I know how to be helpful. I'm trying to tell you how to superstar, but you don't want to know. <laughs> but it's available when you're ready. Come see me. Bubble on deck. Look, if you're broke, don't talk to me. I said if you're broke, you can't talk to me. Hey. I only hear money, babe. You talk money, I hear.